Hello, Texans season ticket members, partners, and friends, and welcome to this special visit with Texans offensive coordinator Tim Kelly. Coach, thanks a lot for being with us. How are you doing? Good, Mark. How are you doing? Uh, doing very well. Getting through this as we all are. What has it been like for you coaching the team this way with the other coaches, meeting this way, trying to get things done for the 2020 campaign? Yeah, I mean, personally, the first thing that comes up is, is really uh, – kind of gives you a new appreciation for all the work that, that my wife does at home you know, being home with with these with these uh, uh two kids it's 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 a you know an eye opener to see what they go through you know during the season because I'm gone and, and I don't you know I, I hardly see them unless it's on the weekend so being able to see her kind of do her thing here it's uh it's been pretty cool as far as being you know coaching the guys it's it's really a unique situation having to do everything virtually um you know being being able to have all this interaction uh, you know, with our guys via Zoom and, and the different mediums that we have on our computers and laptops and, and tablets and whatnot, um, it's it's really been unique and it's been interesting to see how those guys have adjusted uh, and have really taken to it. It seems these days everybody seems to be more comfortable uh, in front of a screen, so this is kind of really providing them their their safe space, if you will, to kind of come out and uh, and, and really really do a good job communicating with one another and with and with us as coaches. Yeah, we've all become television personalities in the last few weeks. I know. All right, let's get to some questions here from the season ticket members. And Donald is up first, and he goes right to it. How might the offense look different in 2020? Well, we know about some of the new guys, and I would imagine you've been very creative already trying to figure out ways to mix them in. But what do you think of the offense overall going into the season? Yeah, I mean, every year is different, right? So uh, every year there's going to be new players. And um, for us, it's it's always going to be about trying to put those new pieces uh, in, in, in a position to, to take advantage of, of what the defense gives us. So, you know, how can we find different ways to utilize Duke and David and Brandon and Randall and Will and Kenny and Kiki and DeAndre and, and Fells and Kahale and Akins and Thomas? I mean, the list goes on. So, uh, you know, sitting here and, and being able to, to name that many names um, is, a, is a good thing. So uh, we, have, we have a lot of people who have made plays um, in this league, and, and it's really going to be up to us to try and put them in positions to be successful. Next question is from Adrian. What excites you the most about the upcoming season? I think you just answered part of that, but also the schedule. I mean, there's so much to look forward here look forward to and you mentioned the guys you have coach it's not just about how you fit them into whatever you want to do it's adapting to the defenses you're going to play right yeah and you know everything that we do is is going to be you know predicated on trying to again take advantage of of the issues that we may see going against the defense so um having the different versatile pieces that, that are going to allow us to be creative is definitely exciting you know starting off the season in arrowhead um on Thursday night, that, that's always, you know, an, an exciting opportunity. And then being able, you know, to, to play some teams that we may not have played for a few years. You know, me personally going back home to Chicago is something that I'm excited for. Um, and then, you know, going and, and having the Packers come here and Minnesota come here. So, you know, personally speaking, selfishly speaking, those are all teams that I, you know, was very familiar with when I was growing up and, you know, coming from the South suburbs of Chicago. So being able to play those guys is always kind of the exciting for me, especially because it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. We'll have some more specific questions about that coming up here, but let's go to Giles question. Please discuss your transition from a defensive player to going to the offensive side of the ball as a coach, because you played defense in college at Eastern Illinois. How does that help you if at all coaching offense? Sure. Um, it, it helps me because I always look at what we're doing from a defensive standpoint. So I'm, I always try to put myself in, in a position to where like, what, what would I think if I saw this happen? How would I react if I saw this happen? Um, so uh, as far as the transition from a defensive coach to offensive coach, it, it really happened, um, you know, when, when I made the tr uh, transition into the NFL, I worked with coach O'Brien for two seasons. Um, and he had always told me that he, he saw, you know, the possibility of me having some potential work on the offensive side of the ball, even when I was at, at Penn State on the defensive side. So, um, you know, when when the opportunity came and, and he said, hey, I'd like you to work on, on offense, I, I, you know, said, absolutely. Anything I can do to, to coach in the NFL. So, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a, a difficult transition. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Um, but it's, it's obviously something that, that was worthwhile and has paid off. 
All right, next question is from Fred Joe, section 353, row R. He did not put a seat number, yeah. uh, but section 353. Many NFL teams have converted to an up-tempo style. This is a long question. Sometimes avoiding a traditional huddle. Is this a possibility for 2020? Now, you guys do this from time to time. You go no huddle, you go up-tempo, or you have that little brief muddle huddle yeah. before you take the snap, right? Yeah, sure. I think again, it, it kind of goes back into how how you want to play the game, and 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 what are we going to do as an offense that gonna that that will put us in the best position to win. So, um, if that you know if if we we decide throughout the week that playing fast is going to be something that's going to put us in the best position to win, uh, you know you you can bet that we're going to be playing faster that week. If it's something where we may want to huddle more and and slow the game down, and that's going to you know put us in the best position to win. Uh, that that's something that that obviously we will do more so to to win the game. But everything that we're going to do as an offense is is going to be you know pointed towards winning. It's going to put our team in the best position to win. All right, more questions here from the season ticket members. Mike, is there a chance that Johnson squared both Johnsons will be in the same backfield together? You put Duke and David in the backfield together. You did that a little bit with Carlos Hyde. And Duke Johnson last year. What do you think this season, Coach? Yeah, again, when, when you have versatile players that, that can, you know, offer different skill sets and, and do a number of different things, uh, it allows you to get creative and, and use them in different ways. So, um, yeah, you know, I think we're always going to do things to try to take advantage of, of the skill sets of our players. You've been doing so much classroom work on Zoom or however you do it digitally, and you don't get the chance to try those things out in OTAs if you're on the field right now. So I guess that's going to put a premium on those training camp reps you can get to get this offense up to speed for the season. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think, you know, referring back to what Coach O'Brien said about being a, a veteran year, um, because, again, we're going to really have to hit the ground running when we get together in August because we're not going to have the – however many OTAs and training camp practices and, and, you know, coaching sessions that we would have, uh, you know, if we were under more normal circumstances. So yeah, those, those training camp practices are going to be at a premium. All right. Next question is from Pamela. What's your offensive philosophy and how does it translate to your working relationship with Deshaun? And I guess I'll layer on top of that as well. How is your working relationship with Deshaun? You guys have spent a lot of time together. Yeah, you know, and obviously, like right now, it's all it's all on on a, a Zoom or, or you know the virtually. So I'm sure he's sick of hearing my voice for the past however many weeks. But um, yeah, the the relationship that I have with Deshaun has has been has been really really good. So I'm encouraged by that. Um, and then, uh, what was the first part of the question again? Uh, it was the philosophy. Your offense. Yeah, sure. Philosophy. So for us, we're, as an offense, we're going to make sure that, that we want to be as detailed as we can be in terms of, of our assignments. Um, you know, the different techniques that we that we want to use, and, and uh, basically understanding the, the whole offense. We want to be disciplined in, in our ability to go out and execute those techniques um, and, and eliminate bad football. And then we're we're, we're going to want to be aggressive and uh, attack the defense. Uh, you know, obviously that's going to change week by week and, and do whatever we can to, to put, you know, the team in the best position to win. Okay. And Jerry has a question. What is it like coaching against your brother, your brother, sure. Dennis, who plays for the Titans? Sure. Yeah. That's always, uh, you know, we, we played twice a year. So that's always kind of a unique situation. Um, I think it's probably harder for my mom than it is for Dennis or I, you know, we we both grew up so competitive that, you know, we were used to trying to make, you know, win so the other one would lose since we were, you know, four or five, six years old. So that's really nothing new uh, to our relationship. You know, if you were to put a, a, a video game or, or a board game, you know, risk as big as our, in, in our house. If you, if you put us in front of a risk board, we're going to do everything we can to try and make sure that, that we win and, and the other one loses. So I think it's more of a strain on my mom. Uh, I think it puts her in a tough spot. I think she's obviously very proud. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, someone's going home happy and someone's, someone's going home sad. So I think it's tougher for her than it is for us. All right. So we have another question from a season ticket member, me. I'm not only the announcer, I'm a season ticket member. Okay. So <laughs> Eastern Illinois, your alma mater. I mean, and yeah. you mentioned the Bears game. How special is it going to be to coach in Soldier Field for the first time ever? You're going to be a professional there doing your thing in that place. And also I'll layer on. 
What about Eastern Illinois? All these great football people from Eastern Illinois. You got Garoppolo and Romo as players. You have Sean Payton as a coach and a player. You have Brad Childress who went there. A lot of guys have come out of Eastern Illinois to make it. Shanahan. Yep. Yeah, Shanahan, and, uh, of course. It's a, it's a, uh, I don't know. It's, it's a unique deal. You know, it's kind of a special place to get down there and it's, it's a real close knit uh, environment. Um, there's really not a whole lot to do outside of Charleston. You're kind of in, in the middle of nowhere. So, um, you know, it's, it's a, you know, when I was there uh, and, and right now there's a lot of good people that are there, um, you know, people that, that, you know, want, want to see people, you know, the players do well, um, you know, so speaking from that portion of it, it, it's no surprise that there's been, you know, I wouldn't necessarily put my name in the same breath as Jimmy or Tony or any of those guys, but, you know, there are, there's been a number of people that have had success in, in the NFL uh, that, that have come from that. Um, and then, yeah, going to, going to Chicago is going to be pretty cool for me to, you know, something growing up, you, you always kind of dream about envision yourself doing and, and having the opportunity to do that. It's going to be pretty special. In December, let's no, layer up. Okay. No question. No question. <laughs> Well, Coach, uh, we want to thank you on behalf of all the season ticket members, partners, friends of the Texans. Thanks a lot for spending some time with us, and best of luck getting ready for the season. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. Stay safe. Uh, you too. Thanks a lot for joining us, everyone. Go to HoustonTexans.com for all the info on your Texans as we get ready for the season. Have a great day.